We have not been here in a while. Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog. So if you like this video, come back tomorrow. P.S. I'm on my lunch right now. And Peter's going to finish the work. Day I have from. eight minutes to get back to my next meeting. <laughs> but Peter's going to work from this here lobby. The big blue wall is gone. We haven't been here since the NBA left. I want to go in that pool. Should we just book a Sunday night here? Sure. Burn more points? Sure. So we've been meaning to do this where we come to a resort during the day for Peter to finish work here and then go straight to the park so we have a little bit more time. Today was planned because we thought we were having our C-section tomorrow. So we thought it would be like a fun last hurrah to go to Magic Kingdom the night before, like we typically do before big events. Um, but now we don't know when the baby's coming, but we weren't gonna give up our park pass, that's for sure. Um, so I might go into the park before Peter's done with work, just to get some walking in. I'm gonna do this curb walking thing a lot of you suggested on Main Street. Um, and then we're just gonna go enjoy the park. It's only open until seven. Um, but we, what? Oh, it's open until six? Well, I want you to go before. Um, yeah. So, and then we're just gonna eat dinner when we get back home. So that is our agenda. And now Peter's looking up DVC availability. Four hours later, no. How many? It's like an hour and a half. Yeah. We've we got been... a couple more calls. It's 3.30. Yeah. But Sarah's gonna get going to Magic Kingdom because it only closes in two and a half hours. slippery to do that by myself maybe I'll go and do that um, maybe look at some treats maybe ask a cast member where the Dapper Dans or the Cadaver Dans are gonna be but they got spooky music playing I love this place whoa small world look at this scrim I love it also I think everyone else saw the memo that it was low oh, it still says 20 The wait ended up being like 25 minutes, so not bad at all, especially for that ride. I'm gonna stake out a spot in Frontierland to relax, um, and I think Peter will be on his way over here soon. All right, I'm still hanging out here working. Um, I'm gonna close up shop here in about 10 minutes, and I should have enough time to hop over on the monorail, one-stop shop on over to Magic Kingdom to find Sarah before the five o'clock cadaver dance performance. Um, it's been so nice working here and I was texting Dom about this and he was like, I'm so surprised you haven't done it earlier. And we are trying to do this early, like more often, but it's hard to get to certain resorts without a resort stay or a reservation. Um, in this instance, obviously we just parked a TTC and took the monorail. Then it's like, what are we doing about dinner? How late are we staying out? All those things um, come into consideration that make it, you realize it's not as simple as just hopping on over here during my lunch call or something to finish the day at a resort. But I think we will start, especially after we get the clear post James being allowed to go out into the world. I think we'll, I'll be doing these like work from resorts more often because my office isn't opening at least until middle of January, if not even later. So we'll see, it's so nice just to be relaxing here. It's, it's been empty this entire time. I've seen like four people, um, but I gotta f finish up, 
you know, clean up some things and then hop on over to the monorail. Oh yeah, check it out, check it out. I love this staircase. It's time to leave. Done working for the day and I'm already here. And just like that, that's the most magical place in all the land. Check it out. Oh, it looks like they're getting ready. Oh, this must be where... So there's the Dapper Dam. There's a Dapper Dam. I thought the Cadaver Dams were coming out, but maybe this is where they're going to perform later. Sarah bamboozled me. She's in Adventure or Frontierland watching a parade right now. I'm gonna run over to Anti Gravity's to see if they have the cotton candy smoothie. So I'm just gonna run over there. And we think the cadaver dams are performing in 10 minutes in the front of the park. So that's where we're gonna meet. All right, so they have a pumpkin spice sundae and a pumpkin spice milkshake. Awesome, thank you so much. Look at those, they look delicious. All right, I tried it, they're delicious. I just got Sarah's GPS, she's over there. So look at the parade I found. This makes me feel so happy. Oh, look at the, the movies. Wow. Hi, hello. I'm a little sticky. Well, we bought the wrong one, but the cadaver dance had just arrived. Every year about this time, doorbells peal and awful shine. Ghosts and goblins, witches dance and moan and groan their tortured chants. He'll show them that he can get a hand If they say he's tired of his flaming ties He's got a yen to make a smile So he rides one night each year To find a head in the hollow here Woo to you and woo to you and woo to you and you Hey! What? Why did the ghost cross the road? Why? Cause he wanted to get to the other side. When the crypt door creaks and the tombstones quake, two spooks come out for a swinging wave. When pretty ghosts come out to socialize. So that was awesome cadaver dance. Here's Sarah doing her her walk. We're gonna go to the I haunted feel mansion. It though, it, you feel it? You feel it yeah. affecting you? Yeah. So like, Haunted Mansion, we got a 20 minute wait I think, we have an hour left to part time. And it just feels like the perfect ride to go on, if we were to go on one ride, yeah. with all the Halloweenness around the corner. Because of everything going on, like how busy we've been preparing for James, and I will say because of the park pass system and it being difficult to get a Magic Kingdom park pass, I keep forgetting about the little sprinkles of Halloween magic, like how they have, my hair is crazy. They have like a Halloween track playing right now around the hub and it just makes me feel so good i just wish we could stay hopefully because we're gonna try to like stay after park close that we can see the main street with it being a little dark you have to creep really slowly It's the definitely like a. First one. It has a ghost story in it. Oh, we're so close. I love when we get sent in this direction. Um, why is our boat this so. This thing, particularly. Oh, so Barbosa! <laughs> 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 Do not tell him, Carlos. No, 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 no. I'm saying she's voting for Biden. Why anchor now, 
your swabbies. What be I offered for these hearty heads? You'll never find the treasure. Wait, this will look sour and flaming 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 the park has been closed for 10 minutes. Sarah's hoping to take a nice photo at the wishing well, but they start to close off sections of Magic Kingdom after park close. Look at that beauty. I think we made it. Very beautiful fountain, wishing well. And then look at the sun came out for Sarah's photo. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, I took a photo in 2016 on our vacation. It might even have some clips. I oh, got a quarter. Just make a wish, and sooner all will make it come true. I was wishing for a baby. Um, we did something crazy. Seriously <laughs> crazy, but it's like, when will you ever have this ever again? I don't know. <laughs> we just joined the walk-up list for Cinderella's royalty. Have you ever eaten here besides that time with me? I ate here once as a kid. So we've only eaten here once, and it was in it 2010. Was breakfast. 2011. 2011. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And then we get to leave then because there's it's 640 and there's still seating last table. So that means when we leave, it's gonna the park's going to be empty and, and empty. dark. This is just I'm hoping we get back to our car at TTC. We will. There's probably buses still. Yeah. yeah. So we'll get Cinderella. I forgot about Cinderella. How could you forget about Cinderella? When you woke up today, did you think you'd be dining in Cinderella? So we both got the charcuterie. I also got Krogenberg 1664 Blanc beer, which is like a fruitier, what do you compare it to? Oh, a uh, blue moon. A blue moon, but it's even fruitier than a blue moon. But this looks delicious, and I just said yesterday I'm going back vegan, but here we are. <laughs> Please join me in welcoming I got the beef tenderloin, which I have not had in quite some time. There's little veggies. And this is Peter's fish of the day. Salmon. All kinds of stuff. She took our plates away before we could show you that we're part of the clean plate club. We literally scraped our plates at with it. That was the best fish I've ever had. This place doesn't get like, it's more about like the experience, but like, that food was awesome. This is magical. I love raspberries. I love chocolate. This is coffee de crema, but it's like coffee infused with coconut, like deliciousness. It's chilled. It's cold. It's not real coffee, but it's like espresso beans crushed on top. It looks just so good. Wow. Ooh. Look at this circular elevator we're in. There's a button for beef for basement. What's in the basement of Cinderella's castle? This is Peter's first Disney, no, first Whoa. Magic Kingdom dining experience. I'll have to put in a picture or two of our first. So stinking beautiful. I have not seen this view in a long time. No. Look at these glowy pumpkins. We're in Fantasmic. I want to come get a close up of this pumpkin because not every day nowadays you see these at night. And we might not see it again. She just goes, oh, I should be curb stomping. This is not curb stomping. No, this is not a... What, oh. Donald? What happened to you? <laughs> work it, work it, work it out. <laughs> it's so goofy. Oh, yeah. You know what you got to say to this? Freaking bats. Love Halloween. Love Halloween. Look at this. What the heck is this? This is like a real spooky song. I'm by myself. I haven't felt like this empty since then our DCP 2011 after the um, Halloween party preview for cast members. I mean, like we're having a conversation and we're across the street from each other. Hello over there. Tired? <laughs> oh, you look great. Thanks. Imagine if we were having the C-section tomorrow. <laughs> and you were doing this? 
We are so late, we have to take a bus. There's no better smell of fuel than Disney bus air conditioning at night. Side note. Look at this very empty parking lot. I'm pretty good at poker. We're watching Casino Night, um, the Office episode. We're home. We got our frames for the artwork that's going in the baby's room. What else did I have to update? The shoes. The shoes. Literally, I learned about these shoes five minutes ago, and we've oh, already insane. purchased them. Sammy, she knows me so well, sent me a link. Um, so you guys know that we had another pair of Vans planned for me to get as like part of my push present for the baby's arrival. We got the pair of green ones, and then I wanted this other pair that were out of stock. So we've been waiting for those, but Sammy messaged me. <laughs> I came in here because Eve kept barking, but I didn't close the door all the way. But they are an exclusive new design launch. We, I think that they're mostly like in Chicago, like. There was no availability at our mall, but I was able to order them online and they're beautiful. And I mean, it worked out that those other ones weren't in stock. Alrighty, October 21st. The more you lose yourself in something bigger than yourself, the more energy you will have. Norman Vincent Peel. Hey, my name's Peter. Hey, my name is Sarah. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. Oh wait, vote. What's your plan? So make sure you go vote. <laughs> We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.